Life Behind Bars for Demlin Murray. Standing before Justice Paula Guilford on Friday, Murray showed no sign of remorse as his sentence was read out to him. Murray's time served on remand was not taken into consideration as a factor to lessen his sentence. He was found guilty of the 2016 murder of 15-year-old Brittany Batiste, the sister of his former wife. Murray's sentencing, which was first scheduled for July 11, 2022, was put on hold as a request for a psychiatric evaluation was made. That result was returned, and today, July 29, 2022, at High Court No. 1, Justice Guilford read out the findings that Murray is in full mental capacity and is of a sound mind. Outside the court, GBN caught up with the victim's family, who indicated that today's ruling by Justice Guilford brings closure and a level of satisfaction to them. I'm Deandra Bishop, uh, her sister, the one that she came out by. Um, it's a bittersweet moment for me. Reason why I said bittersweet, it's uh, bitter for the sense that she's the sentence is not bringing her back, and she had her whole life ahead of her, and it was taken from her before time. I am definitely satisfied with the sentence that was given today, and um, it will bring some form of comfort and security to the family knowing that we are able to move on and not hold on to him coming out and the possibilities of what he may do. Brittany's mom already in fragile health is further impacted by this tragedy. Her daughter spoke about what this judgment could mean for her. I'm hoping that this news would also bring my mother a little bit of peace and satisfaction so that she can get her health back on track. Uh, as I said, it would not bring her back, but we will try our best to continue to deal with it and move on day by day. I had a mental disorder previously, but it, it went downhill since it happened. So right now she is most time in Mungi. but so And she lost a lot of weight. So to me, it's like it's going to take a lot of work for her to come back, but we are trying. The convict, Demlin, had 16 previous convictions. The defense attorney was Herica Willis, while the victim was represented by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. Christina John, GBN News.